10 Common Facebook Marketing Mistakes There are very common marketing mistakes that even promotion veterans commit on Facebook. It seems like even the very best of us are not immune to these common mistakes. It's a good idea if you want to save a lot of time, effort, and money at this point to become aware of these mistakes. This will decrease the likelihood that you will probably commit these same errors. Starting off paid campaigns with a bang. Do not start off your paid campaigns with a bang. Start with a free campaign first. Build your audience organically. Get some consumer intelligence. Then you should have the information you need to put together an experimental paid marketing campaign. Start low and slow. The worst thing you can do is to jump in with a massive budget and absolutely no clue. Starting a paid campaign with an immature page. If your page is very new or there's really not that much engagement yet, you might want to hold off on a paid campaign. You simply don't have enough target audience profiling information to base a successful paid campaign on. Using mass content posters with discovery tools. Many marketers use some sort of one-size-fits-all mass promotions tool for Facebook. They would discover all sorts of Facebook groups and pages, and then they would use this tool to spam those areas. Don't do that. You're not doing your brand any favors when you do that. All you're really doing is you're spamming. It's only a matter of time until you get banned. Promoting direct affiliate links or direct sales page links. There's an old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. By the same token, you can get a lot of people on Facebook to click on your links, but don't expect them to convert once they go to that affiliate sales page or your own direct sales page. Why won't people buy? After all, they did click on your ad, right? Answer, they haven't been properly qualified. In many cases, they click out of curiosity. Maybe they clicked by mistake. Whatever the case, you still did not get a sale. Posting direct links is not the way to go. You have to build confidence. You have to build trust first. Pulling random content and curating them based solely on keywords. You can't be lazy and just set Facebook publication tools up to just pull any and all content from Facebook that has something to do with your keywords and then just blast them out. You're just spamming when you do that. You have to be very deliberate and careful regarding the kind of content, whether curated or not, that you will associate with your brand. Rotating and republishing the same content over and over again. Have you ever gone to a Facebook page and it seems like all the content got reposted over and over again within the same day? The idea behind this practice is that the more Facebook audience members see the content, the more likely they will click through. It looks like you're just spamming your page fans over and over again. Don't be surprised if they unlike your page. Wholesale optimization of ads. Another common rookie mistake on Facebook involves paid ads. If you notice that one of your ads is simply not performing, it's very tempting to just come up with a brand new ad by completely replacing the ad with something that looks totally different. When you do this, you really don't know which part of the new ad is succeeding or failing. You're basically taking shots in the dark. If your ad's performance improves, you don't know what caused the improvement. You have to have some sort of strategy or method that will enable you to track where the improvement in your click-through and, ultimately, your conversion rates are coming from. Simply swapping out ads in total or in whole doesn't really give you the data that you need to make effective decisions. Copy and paste competitor ad strategy. Some marketers are so lazy that they would just look at their competitors and essentially just copy their ads. Of course, they're not going to copy word for word, but they still end up failing. How come? Well, your competitor spends a tremendous amount of money optimizing the ads that they're showing. Their ads work. However, you won't get a competitive advantage if you copy them wholesale. You can't just copy somebody's ad without knowing what you're doing. Indeed, only a certain portion of your competitor's ads truly deliver results. If you don't know what you're doing, you don't know what portion that is, so you're basically taking a wild stab at your ad's design. You may be saying the wrong things at the right time, or you're saying the right things to the wrong people. You end up failing. Quitting paid marketing too early. Many rookie Facebook marketers have a one-time, big-time mindset. They've heard of how awesome Facebook traffic is, so they put together some hard-earned, precious capital to run an ad campaign. If the campaign doesn't work out according to their expectations, they're too quick to pull the plug and quit FB ads altogether. Just because things aren't working out, it doesn't mean that you have to pull the plug on the whole thing. You can stop certain campaigns and start new ones and operate with the same budget. 
you'd make modifications of your existing campaigns. Failing like a huge train wreck. Have you ever seen a slow motion train wreck? It's quite sad because it's all too predictable, but you can't turn your head and look the other way. You want to know what's coming next. You know, at the back of your head, what exactly is going to happen, but it's so slow, so massive, that you just can't help but look. Your Facebook marketing campaign can proceed the same way. You know that the campaign is failing, but you can't quite put your finger on the cause. So you just go through the motions like a deer with its eyes caught in the headlights. Why not choose to learn how to fail quickly? Since you're not going to make 100% of your shots, learn to live with this fact and move on. Learn to fail quickly using a tiny budget. This way, you can run many different experiments. Even though the vast majority of them are failures, that's okay. You only spend a fairly small amount of money figuring out winning ads. Please understand the nature of the 10 mistakes above. Imagine yourself being in situations where these mistakes are likely to take place. Learn how to spot them well in advance. Prepare your plan B, should you find yourself committing these mistakes.